Hello, Steve White from Steve Arts 89. Uh, I'm just doing a little overview of a couple of my Batman books. Now, this is the first Batman book I think I ever really saw about the series. Um, I had wanted one for a while and hadn't seen anything official for uh, a while. This was a few years ago. And eventually I found this, and of course I had to grab it. Now, the funnest thing about this is, I mean, it's just your basic book but instead of the dust cover you get a utility belt that comes off which I love um, okay so it's just a celebration of the classic TV series and I've actually only looked for this I think twice I think before I bought it and then once I had it home So it's full of a lot of pictures from the show and it goes over a lot of elements of the show but the thing I wanted to foremost was just the pictures of Batman and Robin I just grew up with it more the memory of it because I saw it on I think sun Saturdays or Sundays when I was a kid in repeats and I was never able to see it again until I had Foxtel in Australia as an adult. That's um, one of our cable channels. Um, I don't know who's listening from what countries here. And I didn't see it again until then. And I taped a bunch of episodes off Foxtel and kept them for years. And it was a long time until they came out on DVD and Blu-ray, I think about two years ago. And I really just had a few little pictures uh, that I cut out of magazines. That's all I had from ba for, for Batman. The only thing I had to remind me of the 60s Batman. Um, oh, and the film was released from 20th Century Fox on DVD. Yeah, that was like the only thing I had. But since that was made in the series, it was sort of like having the series on DVD. So a lot of glossy pictures, some behind the scenes stuff. Um, gives you a bit of insight into the making of the show. And you just get to appreciate the show because... <laughs> just seeing so many images and I only saw a few episodes uh, over those weekends but um, I eventually bought the box set on Blu-ray and DVD and I managed to um, watch every episode and it was great because I had only seen I think, God, I don't know how many there were but I only, probably only seen about 10 or 15 episodes but like a lot of shows that I saw when I was a kid um it really captured my imagination right away and I think if you were growing up in the 80s and the 90s before the internet um, and DVD and in some cases video you really were at a loss and in lack and always wanting more and I think it really made you appreciate and set you up to be a collector later in life because you wanted to get the things you didn't have you wanted to you sort of wanted a piece of the shows and the movies that you saw as a kid and loved, but sort of basically had to rely on memory for so much of it. So having things like this to us is pretty... <laughs> Kapow! Zap! <laughs> Zock! Biff! Oh god, that show was great. <laughs> And it's funny how well it holds up. When I watched it as an adult, I mean, Adam West, as ridiculous as every moment of that show is, he, he just made um, his Batman so believable in that, that he seemed to have an authenticity that he really... <laughs> it's hard to explain, but you kind of believe that the Batman in the show believes his um, pompousness and just... The ridiculousness of it he just he it was his magic you can't explain how that stuff works and that's why the show is around still and unfortunately there were so many rights issues involved in the show because of all the guest stars and all their estates and it was all when they made the show in the 60s they sorted all that out at the time for tv and syndication but they didn't and maybe even home video but they certainly didn't work it out for DVD and Blu-ray and um, uh, streaming. So when these come along, uh, 
everyone wanted to renegotiate everything and everyone wanted a piece and it just was stuck in limbo for years and years and fortunately they finally got their self their act together and finally got the show sorted out and the right sorted out and got it released in time for Adam West to do some promotion and some interviews and special features before he unfortunately passed away a couple of years ago which kills me that I missed him because he was going to come to Australia and um do uh comic con or um armageddon or supernova those are our um our comic cons our oz comic con and he was coming with julia newmar and she cancelled for some reason so he didn't want to come alone and then he got sick and i think he died not long maybe six months or a year after that so i met genie i've met most of the cast of star trek because Star Trek, I Dream of Genie, Batman, all these shows that I saw as a kid that were repeated from the 60s in syndication forever, I saw them, and as a kid, I didn't even know they were old. I totally bought into them, I loved them. And I really wanted to meet those actors. So I met Genie, I met most of stuff, but I didn't meet Batman. I really wanted to meet Batman. And Batgirl as well, she passed away. The only one around is Robin, and I never liked Robin. I didn't like his little elf shoes, and I don't like green or orange. Now, navy blue and grey I can get into, but um, <laughs> uh, it's funny though, when you see the shows in Blu-ray now, you can see the stuntmen and stuff like that, which you never would have seen, because they did that stuff, because when it was shown on TV, it was, you were looking at a tiny little box, and the resolution was, it's not the same, it's a little cruel to put some of these shows on Blu-ray and high definition, frankly. But a lot of it actually works, holds up, the, the production work was really good, but some stuff like using <laughs> stuntmen in like uh, medium shots because they weren't expecting those medium shots to eventually be on screens five times the size of the ones they were designed for. So it's a, it's, you, gotta, you have to give the show some credit and be a bit forgiving for stuff like that. But um, I haven't really stopped to focus on any images in this here, but I just sort of wanted to let anyone who doesn't have this or is interested in getting it basically have a look and see what's in it so because I hate it when you have to buy something online you really don't know what you're getting and I bought a few things which I thought were going to be full of images and things and they really didn't have what I wanted in them at least if you look through this video you know what's in the book you know what you're getting and it's a pretty good pretty high quality look at the series and has episode guide as well as just articles on the actual well, production, actors, everything gets a look. Now, I did a review of the He Man guide, and this is what I was talking about if you were watching that. A lot of episode guides, you just get a bit of text about each episode, they're not very involved. Um, but this is just an additional episode guide. It's not the book itself. If the book was an episode guide, obviously you'd go into more detail. The He-Man went into a lot of detail. And now we've gotten to the other side of the utility belt. Which, although it is a little tricky to keep it in place. <laughs> okay. So that's it. That's the Batman classic series. Celebration of the classic TV series. Um, you should get it. It's great. And I think there's a few more official ones or semi-official ones that I, I've got to track down. Thanks. Bye.